Hey everybody, I learned something really, really cool today, and I'm excited to show it. This is something that took me very little time to make. This is a product of MicroMesh. So, let's get into it. Right, new scene. Lightbox, doesn't matter. Okay, brand new scene. Now, uh, let's make a simple shape out of this. Let's open up geometry and uh, Dynamesh just to make it real small. Uh, 16. Okay, good. This gives us a simple shape object. Now let's modify this. BSH for the snake hook brush and remesh as often as you want and this is going to be a weird shape okay perfect now wait hold on it needs a little bit more let's inflate the ends perfect okay what is this I have no idea some dude is excited but now let's go to the top and make this object a polymesh 3D. Okay, that puts it up here so we can choose between others that we have and stuff like that. So then let's choose a different object. Uh, let's let's use the cube. Okay, pretty simple. Anyone can make this. Now let's add micro mesh to this. So, to do that, you have to make this object a polymesh 3D, brings it down here, so we can view what we're trying to use as micromesh, and then the object we're going to put it on, then go to geometry, close Dynamesh, open up modify topology, and right here, very top, let's close that up. Modify Topology, MicroMesh. Click, and you can choose which subtool you want to use. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, this is the object we wanted to use. So let's click this. MicroMesh is only visible in Best Preview Render. B P R. Turn on Draw MicroMesh in the Render Palette. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Draw, turn on, draw micro mesh in the render palette. Okay, up here, render. So let's press OK. Then go to render. Okay, this is the render palette. And uh, draw micro mesh. As you can see, there are white lines all around this. So what this is illustrating is whatever uh, subtool we used as the micro mesh it is going to generate on top of whatever object we're currently on so if we turn this off and turn it back on and change it it'll look different right you can uh, generalize the shape that it would create but let's go back to what we created creates this okay now to see this it is only visible in best preview render so to get there right up here BPR render click this and it will take a little bit of time and it just created a bunch of um, uh, meshes over every vertex of the uh, square we just had cube now one thing that I just learned today I was looking around trying to find out how to use this again is if you go up to the top of the geometry palette uh, convert BPR to geo geometry as a subtool that you could use so if we click this it is now a 3d object that we can manipulate further so uh, BMV for the move brush and then let's draw the uh, increase the draw size and we can edit this now 
Isn't that really cool? New, brand new stuff. And if anybody likes this, please subscribe. And I'm excited to make lots of more videos. Thanks, everybody.